What are we going to talk about? I don't know. You're the you're the show host. Here. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is uh, blind for me. But you want to uh, talk about secrets? You want to talk about what we do? You want to talk about? Well, let's just chat. Hey, hey, we're sitting down here at uh, Mississippi River Distilling. I'm with Ryan, uh, one of the proprietors, and uh, here's to you, man. Some great drinks. Cheers, so, Charlie. We really appreciate what you do for us as far as making the secrets up. And uh, I've been down here quite a few times. It's kind of a getaway for me to get out of the restaurant for half a day or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. But uh, local, local, local. We can't say enough about that. It's, so. it's so funny because what you guys are doing in food, we're doing in booze. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it works really great <clears throat> together, I think. That's why... Uh, we want to get more involved with you up at our place. Uh, we represent you, obviously, in the store. We represent you at our bar. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're a little bit different when we do a lot of cocktails, but we have to incorporate some of your cocktails that you got down here. We want to do that. We're going to get our bar to look a little bit more like that. <laughs> so uh, I think that would be a good thing. But uh, Well, here again, at our place, we're, we're restricted by law because we make it here. Mm -hmm. We can't have any liquor that's not made here. Right. And the only liquor we make is grain-based spirits. So we don't have tequila, we don't have, which is made from cactuses. Sure. We don't have rum that's made from sugar cane. But what we, so we also wanted to make sure that if people were coming in here, they were going to have a different experience than they had at just any old bar that they walk into. Agree. Uh, you know. yeah. So what we do here is we, we try to really feature the spirits, obviously. We want you to be able to taste what's different about them. But all of our juices are hand-pressed. All of our ingredients are fresh all of everything it like we don't buy bloody mary mix we make bloody mary mix you know That's all awesome. those things yeah so that you have a different experience here we don't have uh you know a dark bar in the corner with big windows that look out to the river just like at yep. Tempest charlie's yep. and things like that so everything that we do <laughs> is about a different experience than what you're going to find everywhere else so um and I would liken it to what you've done up at your place, you know, yeah, with, with your own beers. Local catfish your, yeah, and the beer. The local uh, fish, all that stuff. I mean, where else in Iowa can I go and get I uh, catfish cheeks? <laughs> where else can I go that I can trade five pounds of catfish for a bottle of whiskey? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Well, it's been a pleasure. It's Thank always, you very much. Always, yeah. All right, take care. Get you a copper kettle Get you a copper coil Fill it up with new made corn mash And never more you'll toil As you lay there by the juniper While the moon is bright Watch them jugs of fillin' In pale moonlight well, My daddy, he made whiskey My granddaddy, he did too We ain't paid no whiskey tax Since 1792 As you lay there by the juniper while the moon is bright Watch them jugs are filling In the pale moonlight
here at Mississippi River Distilling Company, the big thing that we do that's different than most places is number one, everything's local. This is all Iowa. Our grain comes from farmers within 25 miles of our place. And what we're doing is, I like to call it the ultimate value added agriculture because we're taking a bushel of corn that would make a gallon or two of gas and turn it into a couple cases of whiskey. So it's, uh, uh, and you know, for years, people don't understand Iowa's the number one beverage alcohol producing state in the country, but we ship it out of here and it's bottled other places. So it doesn't get labeled this here, but a lot of the vodka that's made in the United States is made out of Iowa corn because it's the most cost effective way to make grain alcohol. And so uh, you've got Archer Daniels Midland, grain processing, some of these big companies in Iowa that are cranking out train cars full, barge loads full of grain alcohol that's used not just in vodka and, and liquor, it's used in mouthwash, it's used in uh, vanilla extract, it's used as a preservative in all kinds of food and things like that. This is a huge part of what we do here because we're growing the grain right here. We have the finest grain in the world in our backyard, but yet we're importing our liquor from other states. Why? We can make the best stuff in the world right here. And that's what we set out to do at Mississippi River Distilling Company is start handcrafting bottles from this grain that's right in our backyard and get people to take a turn maybe from what they've always tried into something different. What most people don't understand is most of the whiskey in the United States is made at about eight distilleries in Kentucky and Tennessee. They make great whiskey. It's delicious. I like to drink it too. But the difference is they're all making it the same way, mass producing it, large stills that run all day and all night from relatively the same mash bill made in the same fashion. What we're doing as craft distillers is one small batch at a time, handcrafting spirits that are going to taste a little different. But that's by design. There's no reason for us to try to do the same thing they're doing in Kentucky over and over again. They're already doing a fine job of that. But we have all of this whiskey that tastes relatively the same. Where craft comes in is the same place that craft beer came from about 15, 20 years ago. If someone had served you an IPA in 1985, you would have punched them in the face because no one wanted to drink that kind of stuff. They wanted to drink light beer. We got bored with that and started looking for new flavors. The same thing is now happening in whiskey, in craft spirits. All of a sudden, all these small producers, which when we started 10 years ago, there were about 200 of us in the country. By the end of 2020, there's going to be nearly 2,500. So all these local distilleries are gonna start bringing some familiar spirits with a little bit different twist to them. And if you taste our whiskey, it doesn't taste like Maker's Mark or Jack Daniels. It tastes like bourbon, but you can really taste the richness of the corn. You can taste the sweetness, a little bit different take on it. And so that's to give you some options. So when you look at the back bar, you see a bottle of Cody Road you see a bottle of Secrets, it's going to taste a little bit different. It's going to be just as smooth, if not better, but it's going to bring a different flavor to your glass, to your cocktail, to whatever you're doing. That's what we're all about. That's what craft distilling is all about. And when we get a partner like Charlie to come in here and say, hey, I want to try this fun thing. I want to try that fun thing. We're not so big that we can't stop what we're doing and make a batch of this fun one-off whiskey that Charlie wants to do for Catfish Charlie's. We can do that. We can, we have fun doing that, just like Charlie does. It brings something new and it brings something we can be proud of. We can send people from LeClaire up to Dubuque and say, stop at Charlie's. You're gonna love what he's doing there. He's got these great beers. He's got these great whiskeys we've done with them. He's doing fun cocktails and things. Go check it out. We know each other. We know where we're making this stuff for, where it's going. That's totally different than anything else that's going on when you go grab some mass-produced bottle on the liquor store shelf. And that's why we're proud to be part of a project like this. We're just so glad to have everybody that's come visit us in LeClaire. And now all these people that are coming to try our products up in Dubuque at Catfish Charlie's. Uh, we're so proud of what's in the bottle and we're so glad that you enjoy it. Uh, so from me and Garrett, cheers. <laughs>